hath received. Because you see him not, neither know him. But you know him, for I dwell in with you, and shall be in you. I will not, I will not leave you comfortless. Because, listen, I will come to you. God is good. He cares about us. There's a union. There's a united front in togetherness inside of all God's children. I don't give you a ugly or pretty. Short or tall. Black or white. There's a union when you accept Christ as the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Oh God. And the more we are together, yeah. is the happier yeah. we shall be. Glory. Because Jesus is our friend. Yeah. Oh gosh. Yeah. Never. Yeah. <laughs> I said, Jesus is our friend. Yeah. And our friend. what did you didn't say it a while ago? And his friend is my friend. Yeah. And my friend is his friend. Yeah. So the more we are together, is the happier we shall be. You don't know what you miss for the past couple of weeks because of the snow. But we miss you also too. Uh oh. Did I say that? Yeah, we miss you. So we are here together. We're going to enjoy this wonderful occasion. Why? Because we are one in Christ. If you accept Him as your Lord, if you accept Him as your Savior, we are one in Him. One in God the Father, in a matter which church you go to. Come on, Oh God. We see, we see Jesus prayed to his Father that there be oneness in the body of Christ, in the church. We are in him, and he's in the Father, and we are together in the Father as one. Amen. This is not popular. But it's the truth. Yes, it is the yes, truth. You don't hear it too often, but it's the truth. Amen. You often look at people and say, such a one is full of the devil. Didn't you say that? I know most of you say that. He's full of the devil. Don't you? I can't get that amen out there. It's like I'm telling a lie. I know you say it because sometimes I hear you. On the other hand, I want you to look at somebody. <laughs> And say, you're full of God. Wait really, I mean, you always say, full of God. Oh, come on now. Come on now. <laughs> mm. If God is in you, and God is in me, we are to see eye to eye. Not because of who we are, but because of whose we are. I hope I'm making it plain because. Yes, we may not agree on everything. But you all have Jesus within. Yeah. If we are Christians. Yeah. Come on now. He is the common denominator. Yes, sir. Not denomination. Uh oh. No, no, no. He is the glue that holds us together. Yeah. Denomination doesn't. They don't cut it. No, no. There's no Baptist, Anglican, Church of God in the body of Christ. We are all followers of Christ. <laughs> we don't supposed to let nothing separate us. Because you're Baptist, you can't go to Church of God Church. And because you're Church of God, you can't go to the Baptist Church. And I'm so glad that Jesus don't look at that. You better be in the Church of God. The one that Jesus found. Because if you're not in that church, I'm sorry for you, you ain't going nowhere. Mm -hmm. You're going to stay in your Baptist church. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And not in the heavenly church. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's stop before you, you start stoning me up here. I, I shouldn't be talking like this on the pulpit. <laughs> but Paul says that's the truth, you know. Yeah. If you kill me, never speak the truth. Because mama teach me that from my little boy. Boy, speak the truth and speak it heaven, because of what it will. You who right, who had the wrong idea? Did the wrong thing still? 
And I didn't like the <laughs> licking stick, so I'd rather be truthful. Amen. Mm -hmm. Some people get beaten because they're too light. Yeah. That wasn't Junior. I'd rather give me one lick and I'd run. I'm still here, trying to get you a little pumped up. But you're so sad because your outside looks like that. Come on, man. Where did you just stand on your feet for one minute? You feel like you're really, really down. We you all stand on your feet for one minute? Oh, Lord, you know, I have no friend like you. If heaven is not my home, then, Lord, what will I do? The angels beckon me from heaven's open door. And I can't feel at home in this world anymore. Oh, Lord, you know. I have no friend like you. If heaven is not my home, then Lord, what will I do? The angels beckon me from heaven's open door. And I can't feel at home in this world anymore. Oh Lord, you know, I have no friend like you. If heaven is not my home, then Lord, what will I do? The angels beckon me from heaven to open door, and I can be at home in this world anymore. All right, I know you're pumped up now. You may be seated. I'm pumped up now. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ is a difference maker. Yeah. And it's only right that we know that Jesus isn't the one we were born with. Uh oh. Oh gosh. No, you weren't born safe. <laughs> Before we were born, Adam, the first man God created, make a decision for us. Mm -hmm. And we become the children of Satan. Amen. You know, you don't like it, but that's the truth. Yeah, you know, Lucifer mm -hmm. becomes Satan. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Glory. When he was in heaven, he was Lucifer. Yeah. When he go up against God, he becomes Satan. Are you with me? Yeah. And Revelation chapter 3 warns us. Revelation chapter 3, if I can find it. You find, you find chapter 3? Amen. Well, you find chapter 3, I'm sure you can find chapter 12. <laughs> <laughs> if you find Revelation 3, I'm sure you can find 12. So 12 and 3 says, And there appear another wonder in heaven. And behold, a great red dragon, having seven heads and ten hearts, and seven hearts upon his head. Are you with me? Amen. And his tail to the third part of the stars of heaven. And they cast them down to the earth. And that dragon stood <laughs> before the woman, which was ready to de deliver, for to devour her child as soon as it was born. That devil want to kill Jesus when it works. Uh -huh. Lucifer, till, draw one turn of the angel. You know, when they say stars of heaven mean angels, okay? So draw one third of the angels that God created. Praise the Lord. And Lucifer wanted us. He wanted to be supreme ruler over everything. As a matter of fact, that guy was too ambitious. You, you, do you hear what I say? I say he was too ambitious. You know he wanted to be God? Yes. Yes. Yeah, he wanted to be God. He wanted to be the supreme ruler. Yes. Even over God. Mm -hmm. And the Bible says in Isaiah chapter 14, verse 12, How are thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer? Son of the morning, how are you cut down to the ground which is awakened the nation? 
for thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. Oh God. He said he wanted to be supreme ruler. I, I will sit also on the mount of the congregation in, in the side of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I'll be like the most high. Uh oh. It, it was too ambitious. Too ambitious. Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell to the side of the pit. Mm -hmm. Satan wanted to be the supreme ruler. Him over God. And so because of him who came to heave Adam's wife and deceiver, Adam fall. He, he, he listened to his wife. As a matter of fact, any of you ever hear about the ERA movement? You ever hear about the ERA movement? He ruled her down. <laughs> he ruled Adam. <clears throat> Adam had a choice. God put before him to make a choice. And the choice that Adam would make is either he going to have Satan rule his children to come, or he's going to have the Holy Spirit to rule. But Adam chose Satan instead of the Holy Spirit. I say he chose Satan over God. Because leave that part alone. Even leave that part alone. He was too much in love. That's all I can tell him. Hey, you, 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 you ever see? This is awesome, though. But I don't call people hug me, okay? Because you're hug me by your, your, your inner, your actions, right? But sometimes you see some guys who say they are the best over the rest. And the woman they pick up. Uh, I got to weigh my words in this one. <laughs> if the woman says sit, he sit. It's just a job, is a whole high. And some people, some men, are men wise and woman foolish. Let me get back to the lesson because I'm sorry. Yes, sir. That was a Hebrew ladder. That was mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are you with me? Yeah, I'm trying to tell you what Adam was. Oh, Jesus. But God came up with a plan. Yeah. Yeah. A plan he hid from everybody. Yeah. I know you didn't know that, but. Uh, the salvation plan wasn't revealed. He yeah. revealed it to the disciples. Yeah. Yeah. Moses, David, Elijah, Elisha. They speak about what they didn't know about it. According to Ephesians chapter 3. Verse 2. If ye have heard of the dispensation of the grace of God which is given to me towards you, or that by revelation he made known unto me the mystery, as I wrote afore in few words. Whereby when ye read, ye may understand my knowledge in the mystery of Christ. I'm going to skip over because you need to read that yourself. Verse 9. And to make all men see what is the fellowship of the mystery, which from the beginning of the world has been hid. Did I say that? All right, now. Hidden God who creates all things by Jesus Christ. Yeah. So they didn't know about this thing until it was revealed. The plan of salvation wasn't revealed until in the New Testament. Yeah. Yeah. Stay with me. You stay with me, right? Because God wants you. He don't want you to leave your ignorant like your king. He want you to know the truth. 
and nothing but the truth. I say you need to know the truth. Yes. And God came up with a saving plan. He put forth a plan called salvation plan. All right. All right. About this one also called the plan of grace. Yes. Because this plan of salvation came under the dispensation of grace. All right. It is also known as a blessed assurance. It is a blessed assurance plan. So you can have a little joy be known in this plan. So for you to have this plan, you need to have Jesus living inside of you. If you do not have him in you, you are none of his. Romans 8 and 9 say that. And this is plain enough. You need to have the Savior, Jesus Christ, living in you. One songwriter said, I must have the Savior with me, for I dare not walk alone. There must be a feeling inside. You must feel his presence in you. And you must feel his arms around you. You need the difference maker living in you. You need the gap builder living in you. The one who stands in the gap 